Once an ultra-marathon runner, a triathlete, and a Pilates instructor on Naval Base Guam, the woman who was severely beaten during a home invasion in Nimitz Hill took the stand today, sitting across from one of the men accused of beating and robbing her back in April. The female victim spent weeks in the intensive care unit on Guam and underwent more medical procedures off-island. She now resides in California and returned to Guam for the trial. The victim testified about what she could recall happened on April 19th and 20th, but her memory was severely impacted from the beating. She tearfully testified that she woke up that morning and remembers working out, but the details of the home invasion and being attacked that night remain a blur as she lost much of her memory. She could only remember waking up in the hospital and being unable to move her right side. California-based Dr. Jay Rosenberg testified via Skype that the injuries she sustained to her right side impacted her memory. Rosenberg adding that the victim's athleticism greatly contributed to her recovery, but she would be unable to be active as she once was. The victim testified that she remembers being interviewed by the Naval Criminal Investigative Service and was shown a photo lineup. The government is charged to Tautau and Anthony Paul Mendiola with the crime. 16-year-old Kyle Cruz recently signed a plea offer to cooperate in exchange for a five-year sentence. Assistant Attorney General Brian Gallagher told jurors that the three plotted to break into the home on Ocean View Drive in Petey and that they forcefully entered and that Tautau tied up and beat the victim as the others found items around the home to steal. Defense attorney Sam Tecker, however, says his client was never there and maintains that it was Mendiola and others who went to the home. The court needed to address other matters, so the trial was recessed until 9 o'clock on Friday morning. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Mindy Egan.